more horsepower, more fuel efficiency, and 43% less engine wear. Those are the claims made on Hot Shot Secret FR3 packaging. So the question is, can this product actually deliver on those claims? Today we're going to be doing some testing on Hot Shot Secret to see just how good this product actually works. We'll be using this fuel injected generator to see if Hot Shot Secret FR3 improves fuel efficiency. We'll see if Hot Shot Secret can handle the heat better than Mobile One's annual protection full synthetic motor oil. Before the testing begins, I need to send off the Hot Shot Secret FR3 additive to an oil testing lab to find out more about it. We'll check out the lab test results later in the video. Hot Shot Secrets is powered by science. It's a high performance oil additive. Increased horsepower up to 5%. Increased fuel economy up to 5%. Reduces oil operating temperature. Reduces engine wear up to 43%. Restores lost compression. Reduces lifter and valve noise. You can add this product to engine oil, power steering, hydraulic systems, as well as differentials. The treatment ratio is 1.5 ounces per quart. Mobile One's annual protection is a 5W30 motor oil that claims to be proven protection for a full year. It's an ultimate full synthetic. Dexos approved. Extends oil life, maximizes wear protection, and prevents harmful sludge. API Service SN, resource conserving. Ilsac GF5. I'll add 16 ounces of Mobile One oil to the jar, and then I'm also going to add the Hot Shot Secret FR3. I'm going to add one ounce of the Hot Shot Secret to the oil, which is slightly over the recommended amount, but some of it's going to remain inside this container. We're going to see if Hot Shot Secret FR3 improves fuel efficiency by up to 5%. I'm going to first run the engine using a tank of fuel without FR3, then I'm going to drain off two ounces of motor oil in this engine, add the FR3, and take a fuel efficiency measurement again. Before I measure fuel efficiency without FR3, I'm going to warm this engine up, then we're going to fill up the tank once the engine's fully warmed up and begin the test. We're going to start this generator and I'm going to run it without a load and see just how long it'll run and after this test we will drain out two ounces of oil and add the Hot Shot Secret FR3. The time to beat is 50 minutes and 44 seconds. This engine holds right at one quart of oil, so I'm gonna drain out right at two ounces and then replace it with the Hot Shot Secret FR3. I've drained out very close to two ounces of oil. I need to add an ounce and a half of the Hot Shot Secret FR3, but I'm gonna put two ounces in this test cup because I'm probably gonna have some of it remain on the funnel. Since I ran this generator out of fuel, I need to prime the fuel system and then I can go ahead and top off the tank. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of air in the fuel system and that'll mess up our test results.
Okay, the engine lasted right at 50 minutes and about 44, 45 seconds with the FR3 in the engine. So I didn't see any sort of fuel efficiency gains in this test. In the next test, we'll compare the film strength of Hot Shot Secret FR3 against motor oil that's been treated with the FR3 and finally with just Mobile One synthetic oil. We'll begin by measuring out 40 grams of the additive. The lubricity test will last right at one minute. While the lubricity test doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, it'll provide us with a lot of great information. Hot Shot Secret did very well on the lubricity test, so up next I'll test Mobile One mixed with the Hot Shot Secret to see how it performs on the lubricity test. Let's see if the Mobile One without any Hot Shot Secret can perform as well as it did with the additive blended into it. Bearing over to the left is the Hot Shot Secret FR3. This is the blend, this is straight oil. Now what I found very interesting is the difference between straight FR3 and the blend. There's a huge difference between the two. And if you compare the blend to the straight up oil, there's actually 6% less wear on the bearing that has the FR3 included. The lubricity test, the Hot Shot Secret FR3 definitely had a better film strength than the untreated oil. In the next test, we'll see if the Hot Shot Secret can help the Mobile One do a better job with standing heat. Untreated Mobile One will be added to one container and the blended Mobile One and Hot Shot Secret will be added to the other container. I'll first measure out 200 grams of each product into the oil containers and we'll heat the oil to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. I'll be monitoring the temperature just to make sure the oil containers are near the same temperature for the entire test. The NOAC volatility test exposes oil to even more heat than this test to simulate engine operating conditions around the upper piston ring area of an engine. High quality oils resist evaporation and thermal breakdown. At the end of this test, we'll see how much evaporation has occurred. It's been right on two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil from the griddle and when we come back, we'll weigh each of the products to see which one experienced the most evaporative loss. The mobile one started off at 430.07. It now weighs 428.20. That's a loss of 1.87 grams. The mobile one hot shot secret FR3 blend started off at 394.61 grams. It now weighs 390.8, a loss of 3.81 grams. So Mobile One without the Hot Shot Secret actually did better as far as the evaporative loss testing. Let's take a look at the safety data sheet for the Hot Shot Secret FR3 and see if we can learn anything about the ingredients. So what exactly is in Hot Shot Secret? 10% of it includes TMP and the other 90% is proprietary. If you want to know more about the ingredients, you can always look up these cast numbers online and find out a lot more information about the ingredients. The oil treated with Hot Shot Secret experienced more evaporative loss, but how will it affect its cold weather performance? To test this, we'll place the new and the cooked products in a freezer that's set to 20 below zero and we'll come back to this later in the video. Uncooked Hot Shots FR3 Treated Mobile One in Lane 1, Cooked Hot Shots Secret FR3 Oil Lane 2, Cooked Mobile One Lane 3, Uncooked Mobile One Lane 4. And the race is underway with the new oils out of the gate in a hurry, but the Hot Shots Treated Oil is a little bit faster. Cooked Mobile One Lane 3 is third, and Cooked Hot Shots Oil hit the track fourth. This is going to be a really tight race. The new Hot Shots in Lane 1 is a narrow lead over Mobile 1 in Lane 4. The cooked Mobile 1 in Lane 3 is holding on to third place. And the new Mobile 1 treated with Hot Shot Secret FR3 is first to cross the finish line. New untreated Mobile 1 finishes second. The cooked untreated Mobile 1 finishes third. And cooked Hot Shots treated Mobile 1 finishes fourth. What a race. A lot of viewers have expressed concerns regarding oil additives becoming corrosive or acidic. So the Hot Shot Secret Additive has been tested for its total base number, which is the ability of an oil to resist becoming acidic. I also had it tested for anti-wear additives, detergents and dispersants, viscosity, and flashpoint. So let's take a look at the lab test results. Hot Shot Secrets has a very interesting list of ingredients. It looks to be a silicon-based product. Oftentimes, silicon is associated with abrasive dirt, but not in this instance. There are quite a few silicon compounds out there that 
qualify as lubricants, and this appears to be one of them. There's a small amount of calcium, which is a detergent. There's also a small amount of phosphorus, which is an anti-wear additive. The viscosity for the Hot Shot Secret product is 63.4, which is very comparable to 5W30 motor oil. Motor oil typically has a flash point of over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The flash point for this product is only 265, which does seem slightly low. Hot Shot Secret FR3 did a great job on the lubricity tester, demonstrating a 6% decrease in the size of the wear scar against using just plain motor oil. Now, regarding the fuel efficiency test, while we didn't see any sort of improvements there, I didn't run the engine under a load, and it was a very short-term test. So a longer test would definitely provide some great information. All my video ideas, including this one, come from viewers. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. As usual, just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care, and look forward to next time.